Hello, Defense Attorney Mark Rosenfeld here. I wanted to talk for a minute about the Department of Motor Vehicles and driving under the influence administrative per se hearings. When someone is arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol, they are usually given not only a court date, but they're given a notice that the Department of Motor Vehicles is going to conduct a hearing and attempt to suspend the driver's license. So the driver's license can be affected or suspended either by the Department of Motor Vehicles or the criminal court or both or neither. It's important to know this because there are very strict timelines in order to demand a hearing and contest or fight against the Department of Motor Vehicles allegations and their attempt to suspend the license. Recently, I won a set aside that is like a not guilty at the DMV. That is what we are trying to get with the Department of Motor Vehicles, a set aside where they take no action against the license. And the reason for the set aside is because the department's evidence was rebutted. The Department of Motor Vehicles is trying to prove that the person, uh, that the officer had reasonable suspicion to believe the person was driving under the influence, that the person was lawfully arrested, and that the person had a chemical test, a breath or a blood test, that showed a level of 0 0.08 or above. And the DMV will look at the paperwork from the officer, the sworn statement, and the back of documentation, and they will assume that everything is correct and accurate there. However, that can be rebutted. It can be rebutted with arguments about the paperwork itself, legal issues. It can also be rebutted with testimony or evidence. So you could have the person who was there testify, or you could bring in an expert witness. And I've had a lot of success lately bringing in expert witnesses to testify regarding the blood alcohol level and what it was not at the time of the test or what the police officer said it was at the time of the test, but what it was at the time of driving because that is really the issue. And we don't wanna assume that a test that was given well after the time of driving shows what the true blood alcohol level was at the time of driving. So I recently got a set aside, a win at the DMV, using an expert to establish that the blood alcohol level was in fact below a 0.08 at the time of driving versus above a 0.08, which is what the department was trying to prove. If you have questions about the Department of Motor Vehicles and DUI administrative hearings, I would be happy to talk to you. You can reach me directly at 310-424-3145. I handle cases in Southern California. Thank you.